So faith is not an act of anything. It's a definite something from God. Only when we first, first have this something can we then act accordingly, right? So faith is this, this something from God, but this other word, pist pistio, right, means that I have believing faith, that I'm acting a certain way, right? So I have this, this knowledge of faith, I have this noun of faith, but they also have the activity that goes along with the faith, believing faith, right? So faith may not be a substantial being, but it's a su substantial something. Having the ability to apprehend the reality of unseen objects of hope. Now, now check this out. You tell me I have peace. Life is going haywire, right? It doesn't look like peace at all. It doesn't look like peace at all. Right? I'm having this conversation in my mind like, man, I just wish I could have a little bit of peace. You come to the scripture and says, you have the peace that surpasses understanding. This, this is what we do. God, give me that. This is what we do. We pray for. God, give me that. God, I just need a little bit of peace. God, I just want your peace. Please, God, just, just help me. Just help me. All things that pertain to life and godliness. The conversation needs to change to Lord, I thank you for your peace. Oh, Lord, I thank you that I have the peace that surpasses understanding. I have your peace, Lord. Like, you got to change what you hear. Faith comes by what? Hearing. hearing. So if faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God, Lord, listen, understanding tells me that my kids are going crazy, the bills are going crazy, the job is going crazy, car broke down, life, I, I, I just can't. If one more thing happens, I'm going, no. No, you got to change your conversation. You have to change, listen, even the one that you hear without talking, you have to change the conversation and speak the way God speaks, right? Faith is the sums of things hoped for and the evidence of those things not seen. So if this is the case, then, then, then having the ability to apprehend the reality of unseen objects of hope. I changed the conversation. And when I change the conversation, I change the power of sin. I change the power of life. I now have the thing to manipulate the things of life. Check this out. If, if there was a screw in the wall, do you use a hammer? Huh? What, would a hammer get it out? Huh? What you gonna do? Damage. <laughs> Tear it up. You're gonna do some damage to that thing, right? But, 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 but if you use the screwdriver, what happens? You manipulate the screw. And so because you manipulate the screw, you don't cause any damage. Well, the word of God, the faith of God, the knowledge of God, it gives us the ability to alter life, right? It gives us the ability to alter the things that come against us. And it sounds like hocus pocus, but it's not. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The soon, as soon as you start operating by, like God, life becomes very minuscule. It becomes manageable. Manageable. It becomes the ability to say, wait a minute, that thing is not really as bad as it, 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 as it, as it looks. Okay, I got a nail on my tire. I go, I go get a $25 plug taken care of. The kids ain't acting right. Listen, we, we, we gonna deal with you. We gonna deal with you whether you get spared a ride. You spared a child, right? Like, like something's gotta happen. The bills are going crazy. Stop spending on frivolous things. Stop going grocery shopping and stopping at, at, the, at, at, at McDonald's or wherever and bringing, stop, right? More people have nice designer things and have empty pockets. Like, like, like all these things are really manageable, but, but, but we all of a sudden say, oh, the devil. No, he's not. It's you. Amen? We start operating like God. We start managing things and being good stewards over what God has given us, right? Being good stewards over what God has given us, and, and life will never get in the way. We'll always be the ones that are in the way. Amen?